Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. If you've been outside at all and had waterproof clothing and you've cleaned it and wanted to protect it, you've probably seen this stuff. This is uh, Nick Wax. It's, uh, this is the wash one, but they do a protect. They also do a rope wash and a rope protect for your climbing ropes. And I've got them here with me today. They've uh, Nick Wax have kindly sent them out to me and I'm gonna try them out on a couple ropes. I'm gonna try the rope proof on a brand new climbing line that I've got, which is the Petzl Flow. And then I'm gonna use the rope wash on an older rope that I've got, just to give it a bit of a clean up, see how it does. The rope wash and the rope proof, they come, you can buy these separate, these are one liter, but you can also buy them as a twin pack, which is what they've sent me. The twin pack is around 21 pounds in the UK. They also come in a five liter if you wanna, I think the rope proof is a five liter, I'm not sure about the rope wash, but that's around 30 quid. The rope proof, you use a whole one litre bottle like this on a 50 metre rope. Whereas the rope wash, you can use this multiple times. There's enough in here to do, to do quite a lot. It's around 160 millilitres per wash with this. So I've got these two buckets. I don't know if you can see the size of them there. But I'm gonna put a rope in each. I've got my new uh, Petzl flow rope. And a lovely, uh, See that lovely orange colour? So that's the one that's going to go in there with the rope proof. And then in this other bucket, I'm going to use uh, this climbing line. So I to use this uh, Edlerid Woodpecker, which has been used a few times, a good few times, but on a, on a couple wet jobs. It's not super dirty, but I'm going to, um, going to give that one a clean with the rope wash. So in, in the rope wash bucket with the Edelrid rope, I've got uh, six litres of warm water. And in the bigger bucket, which the Petzl rope's gonna go in, I've got 10 litres of warm water. So I'm gonna add 150 millilitres of the rope wash into the rope wash bucket. And I'm gonna pour this whole thing, the whole uh, rope proof into the bigger bucket with the 47 metre, I think it is. 45 metre, sorry, 45 metre uh, Petzl ropes, that's that's more than adequate there. If it's over 50 metres, then I don't think there'd be an issue, but um, you wanna be using, if you've got like a 100 metre rope, for whatever reason, you'd want, you'd want two of these. <laughs> you want to put some gloves on and shake the bottle. Make sure you give it a good shake before you start. For the rope wash, you want to be using 100 millilitres of rope wash to six litres of water. If you're in like a hard water area, then you can use up to 150 millilitres. So all you have to do is just dump your, dump your rope in there. Make sure it's all submerged. If, if you've not got enough water in, you can just add more water, add a bit more warm water, or dunk it in a bit more. And then every 15 minutes, just give it a stir with a stick or something and then um, jobs are good and just leave it like that for two hours. Once your rope's been sat in the treatment for a couple hours, you need to empty the bucket and wash your rope in a washing machine. Make sure you select a synthetic wash with a low spin. Do not add any detergent or any washing powder or anything to the machine. You literally just need to give it a rinse. The knit wax treatments, you don't need any special disposal as they're environmentally safe, water-based and non-flammable. Once the rope's been in the washing machine, you put it on a spin. I tend to put it on another spin just to get the last bit of water off. And then you just want to air dry it uh, on, on a hanger somewhere or outside. But ideally out of direct sunlight. So if you got this far into the video, you would have obviously seen me washing the ropes. Um, I've been using them now for the last couple of weeks. And uh, the results as expected really. The, the rope wash is fantastic. It's, um, it cleans the rope really well. I think it's better than just chucking it in water, which is what I've done in the past. Just letting it soak and then putting it on a spin. You know, the, the treatment gets into the rope and really cleans it really well. The rope proof was, out of the two products, the one that I really wanted to kind of have a look at and actually see what it does. I mean, it, it's quite difficult because it's a brand new rope, but I didn't know how it would behave. But the rope proof leaves like a waxy finish all over the rope. Like when I first uh, rinsed it all off, it was really waxy and you could feel it in your hands. Um, but after the first time using it, the, that initial like coating on the rope's gone. It just feels like the rope did when it was brand new um, but it is a lot more water repellent I've not used it in any like super wet weather yet but you, you can tell that if you dip it in water it, the water beads off it a lot nicer and 
it's obviously doing some sort of protection to the rope, so it's hard to tell what it's doing on the inside. But um, good, both seem like really good products. You know, Nick Wax is a, a brand that I've used for years, like I've said, with the uh, with the waterproof clothing. I still use it on my waterproof jacket now, and I'm really uh, glad they sent it out. So huge thanks to them for sending them out to me, and I'll, I'll continue using them and see how they go. Uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe. Leave a comment if if you've used them and what your experiences are with them. Um, you've seen mine. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.